everybody so today i am here to share with you guys what is in my husband's stocking we kept it very minimal this year we wanted to focus our budget on our kids we had a tight budget even for them so we were we really i think weren't going to do more than candy but of course i couldn't help myself but to get him a few things but in my defense most of it were things that he would have bought well, that he would need, but wouldn't buy himself, if that makes sense. There's just certain things that I know that come the time, he'll want those things or need those things, but he won't buy them for himself. So I went ahead and I got him a couple extra things, but this is a pretty minimal approach, <laughs> at least for myself. These are our stockings. So I got these from Target last year. Funny story. I had ordered the girls these stockings a long time ago. They've had these for years each one of the girls has their initial and I had ordered them for us to all have matching stockings and then I misplaced them I could not find them so I went out and I bought these and sure enough like three months after Christmas I found the ones with our initials on them but I think I'm going to stick with these because these are like my vibe for Christmas in a nutshell I'm like a traditional cozy type of Christmas. So that's what I go for. I really like these and they looked amazing all on the mantle together. So the stuff in his stocking is just in this one bag. Like I said, keeping it simple. The only thing, and I meant to say this in the kids stocking videos too, I wanna get them all pistachios. So around here where we live, like Pennsylvania, Dutch, German type of area, it's very common for us to get nuts and fruit in our stockings. Uh, older generations would get the actual nuts you have to crack, but I'm kind of tailoring it towards like what my family likes and what they enjoy. So for all of them, I want to get pistachios. I'm not sure if I want to buy a big bag and like divide them up myself or give them each a bag, but that's really expensive in this economy. The prices of nuts are out of this world. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but we'll see. And then for my husband's, I also want to put limes in his stocking, but I'm not going to hang on to those for two months. So I'll get those when those are closer. And this time of year, I need to go in store and I need to pick them up myself. Definitely not something I'll add to the grocery order. And then of course I have just a few things of candy for him. So I did get these like sour belt things, which are just always a, like, he's always happy with those. It doesn't matter where they come from, what brand, he's content with those. And then I got him some Warheads popping candy. This is the kind of thing he loves to do with the kids. And then he really likes the Haribo Twin Snakes. I'm sure I'm saying the brand wrong, but that's the American in me. Uh, he likes those because they're sweet and sour. And then I saw they had the sweet and sour reindeer. So I got those for him. And that's all the candy. So these next things may be uninteresting to most. But like I said, these are things that I know he'll definitely use. He just might not have bought himself. So first thing, when winter comes and he starts getting chapped, li chapped lips, he loves medicated lip balm. He can't just use regular lip balm. He needs to feel like it's doing something. So for that reason, I got him this Blistex. A couple of them, one for his jacket, one for his locker at work or whatever. And then this next thing I got him because when the winter months come around and he's been washing his hands a ton, especially between his knuckles starts to crack. It hurts him. It peels. It gets, oh, it just gets so dried out. I've got him so many creams over the years, but he's never really stuck to any. He doesn't like things that are greasy, are going to make his hands feel weird or have a like a real strong scent or anything. And that's kind of difficult to find. So I went with this Aquaphor, but it has an applicator on it. So I'm hoping this means it's not something he has to rub all over his hands. It's something he can literally apply right to the spot with the applicator and hopefully work this time because oh, his hands just start out dry and then it slowly gets worse from there and it looks so, so painful. So the next few things, I guess I will show you something that you've probably seen on TikTok first, just because I'm sure it's nothing new to a lot of people, especially for our ages. I'm 30 and Mark is 36. And I just feel like people our age are very into this stuff right now for obvious reasons. And I got him the rosemary hair oil that is supposed to stimulate growth. And then I also got him a derma roller. So the oil 
nothing new. This isn't even expensive. This is the one that I'm pretty sure went viral on TikTok and it was only eight bucks. So again, not expensive, but something he would never buy himself, but he's been wanting to try it, which is ironic because if there's anything this man hates in this world, it's one thing and that's rosemary. So, but he wants to give this a try. And uh, we follow a guy on TikTok that has had a lot of success. So we're gonna see. I am a, a licensed cosmetologist. So I do have a professional opinion here, but I'm just going off of what I would buy for my own family and what I'm comfortable with. The thing with derma rollers is you do have to be careful. There's risk of infections and stuff like that because we are talking about needles. So this actually comes in a sterile bag. So I'm not gonna be opening that, but I just wanted to show you this one particularly comes with a case. I didn't wanna get him a derma roller and it just be out in the open because like I said, you have to be very careful. We're talking about puncturing the skin and anytime you're doing that, you could have an infection or a reaction or anything like that. So things need to be very clean and very sterile when we're doing that. So I wanted to make sure that whatever I bought him had a case. So you can't actually see the derma roller here, but you guys can see the case obviously. So this is something that is just a little wheel and it has little micro needles on it. So what some people will do is they will take this and they will run this along where they are going to be putting something like a hair growth oil or whatever to hopefully stimulate more hair growth. Am I recommending it or saying that you need to do it or saying that you should do it? Absolutely not. I'm just showing you what I bought for my husband. This was also pretty inexpensive. I like the fact that on the side of this, it does say disinfect and sterilize the roller with alcohol before and each and after each use. You also have to clench your face, pat it dry. So I really like the fact that this brand seems to have some consideration at least to what exactly a derma roller is and how you're supposed to use it. So I liked that. I liked that it came with a case. I think that was only like $11. And the very last thing that I wanted to share, which is gonna age both him and I wildly, but it is a retro Uno card set in, this actually isn't our first one. We went to go play Uno with the kids who had gotten a set from some grandparents and it was just the run of the mill, like what's in the stores. We could not figure out how to play. The cards were not the same that we had grown up with. Some of the cards weren't labeled, they just had symbols but we don't play Uno enough to really know what the symbols are. And the kids were trying to explain it to us, but it was taking forever. So we had gone out and we had bought this retro set from Target, which I think is on Amazon. I'll try to link it at both. Uh, I just bought it at Target because I was already getting a couple things there. But uh, this one is like what I picture in my head when I see Uno. Like it's just the labeled cards. It's really nothing special. It's just exactly what we grew up with. We had a set, but it kind of got dispersed and misplaced. So I wanted to get us another set for when we're playing with each other or we're playing with the kids because we can't make sense of the newer versions. And that, <laughs> that ages us so much, I know, but honestly, we needed this retro version. And I just wanted to get us a replacement pack because they have like an Encanto one. Uh, I think we have like an Avengers set and stuff. I, I don't know. We have several different sets at this point, but when they want to play with us, we're so lost <laughs> because they're not labeled how we grew up with. So yeah, if you're looking for like a like a regular set from when we were kids, I would highly recommend the retro set, which will age you significantly, but it is exactly what you're looking for. So I just picked up another one of these, but that's everything that I'm gonna put in my husband's stocking. If you guys stuck around for the entire video, why don't we go ahead and put the snowflake emoji. If you did hang out with me the entire time, thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.